Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Bhakshala. In this video, we will solve the problem of integral equation which is taken from CSI revision in December 2023. And the problem is from Earth's question ID 704101. Let y be the solution to the Volterra integral equation y x is equals to e to the power x plus e integral over 0 to x. 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square into yt dt. Then, which of the following statements are true? So, here at first we intend to solve this integral equation and then we can check for this given option. So, let's see what uh, how we can approach for this type of Volterra integral equation. So, when the Volterra integral equation is given in this form as of here, uh, y x is equals to f of x plus lambda integral over e to x k x t into y t dt. So, all of you know that this format is specifically called the Volterra integral equation of second kind. So, uh, let the resolvent kernel of this Volterra integral equation the rxt lambda then it can be calculated as the sum of infinite series lambda to the power n minus 1 in xt where the iterated kernels were where the iterated Kernels are when n is equals to 1, k1 xt is equals to k xt. kn xt is equals to integral over p2 x, k xz, k n minus 1, z t, z. Now, go to our given problem. Here, the given problem is y x is equals to e to the power x plus integral over 0 to x 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square into y t dt. So, here, see this the form. So, if we denote it as 1, and this given equation as 2. And if we compare this uh, equation 2 with equation 1, then see what we get. We get fx is equals to, comparing we get fx is equals to e to the power x. Here lambda is 1, so we get lambda is equals to 1. And kxt will be, kxt will be what? Kxt will be 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square. So now we can calculate this iterated kernel. So as of here, the iterated kernel for n is equals to 1, we get k1 xt is equals to kxt that is 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square. Now for n is equals to 2, 1 is equals to 2, we get k2xt, that is what? k2xt as here integral over t2x, here it will be integral over t2x, kz into, it is n minus 1, so it will be k1 zt dz. So, it is integral over t2x kxz is 1 plus x square by 1 plus z square into k1 zt means 1 plus z square by 1 plus t square dz. So, see here 1 plus z square, 1 plus z square will be crossed off. So, what we get from here? Uh, from here, 
we can also take out this 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square term outside the integral. So here we get 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square integral over t2x dz. And we can integrate this. So we get 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square into z and limit up to t2x. And in the next step, here we can put the limits. So finally, we get 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square into x minus t. And so in similar way, for n is equal to 3, we can solve k3xt. So what is k3xt? k3xt will be integral over t2x, kxz, to k two z t d z. Okay, so here k x z will be the same. That is one plus x square by one plus z square. And what is k two z t? K two z t will be from here we can write k two z t as one plus z square by one plus t square into z minus t dz. See here also this term will be crossed off and we can take 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square out of the integral. So what we get? We get 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square integral over t2x z minus t dz. And we can integrate this. So we get 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square into z minus t full square by 2 and limit up to t2x. So now if we put the limits we get 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square into Put in the limit we get x minus t whole square by we can write it as 2 factorial. So we get k3 x is equal to this. Now similarly for a is equal to 4. For a is equal to 4, what we can get? We can get k4 x t. So for a is equal to 4, k4 x t will be integral over t2x kxz into k3 t dz and it will be integral over t2x kxz is same as 1 plus x square by 1 plus z square and kxz is what we get from here uh, is 1 plus z square by 1 plus t square into z minus t whole square by 2 factor. So here see carefully we can cross off these two terms and we can take out 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square into 1 by 2 factor. So here it will become 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square into 1 by 2 factorial integral over t2x z minus t plus whole square. Now in the same manner here if we integrate this we get this is same as it is and integrating here we get z minus t whole cube by limit up to t2x. Now, see, here we can take this 3 outside the bracket and then we are putting the limits. So, here 1 by 2 factorial into 3 will become 3 factorial and putting the limits we get x minus t. So, 
see here we can write it in this format 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square into x minus t whole cube by 3 factorial. And up to n equal to infinity, the iterated kernels can be calculated. So it will go on. And through an observation over our calculated iterated kernels k1 xt, k2 xt, k3 xt, we can express k xt as 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square into x minus t to the power n minus 1 by n minus 1 factor where n is equals to 1, 2, 3 up to infinity. So as of previous we said that our we can calculate it resolvent kernel we can calculate resolvent kernel as summation over n equals to 1 to infinity lambda to the power n minus 1 k n x t so now if we expand the right hand side for lambda is equals to 1 so what we get if we expand the right hand side for lambda is equals to 1 we get rxt lambda is equals to k1xt plus k2xt plus k3xt plus x So, what we get? We can take 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square which is common in everywhere and so it will be 1 plus x minus t by 1 factorial plus x minus t whole square by 2 factorial plus it will go on. So see here we all know it is the form of e to the power x minus t. So it will become 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square into e to the power x minus t. Since this sum of infinite series here is found in the closed form, so the required solution for this case becomes what? The required solution for this case becomes, we can solve it as yx is equal to f of x plus lambda integral over 0 to x rxt lambda into f of t dt. So what is fx? We get by comparing f of x x to the power x lambda is 1 so 1 integral over 0 to x here we get rxt lambda that means 1 plus x square by 1 plus t square into to the power x minus t and if t is e to the power t so it will be e to the power x minus t into e to the power t dt so see here minutely that it will be e to the power x plus here we can take out of uh, out of the integral 1 plus x square and here minus t plus t it will be crossed off and remaining is e to the power x so we can take out e to the power x into 1 plus x square and inside the integral it will be dt by 1 plus t square. So here see we can uh, take common e to the power x so it will become 1 plus 1 plus x square and if we integrate this we get 10 inverse and limit up to 0 to x. So easily here we can put the limits e to the power x into 1 plus 1 plus x square into 10 inverse x minus 
good. The inverse zero. So here we get e to the power x into one plus one plus x squared into tan inverse x because tan inverse zero is will become zero. So finally, here we get e to the power x into one plus one plus x squared into tan inverse x. That is our required solution y. So now here, uh, if we get the required solution, so if we put x is equal to one, then y will be e into one plus one squared is one. So it will be one plus one into ten inverse one. So what will become? This will become e into one plus two into ten inverse one. That is five by four. So this will become e into one plus pi by two, and we have to solve when x is equal to root three. So then, what we get when x is equal to root three? We will get to the power root three, one plus one plus root three square, that is one plus three into ten inverse root three. So finally, we get here e to the power root three into one plus four into pi by three. That is, we can write one plus four pi by three into e to the power root. Three. Now let's check our given options. Which option is or are So here, see, option one is given. Y one is equals to one plus pi by four into e. But we get y one is equals to one plus pi by two into e. So option two is true. Option one is false. And where x is equals to root three, we get one plus four pi by three into e to the power root three. So here also option four is only right. Option three will automatically become. So here uh, we get our option two and option four as the right options. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Hope you all understand the problem.